Web scraping has revolutionized the way millions of people and businesses work, eliminating the most time-consuming and labor-intensive tasks. No-code web scraping tools like Hexomatic provide a fully automatic point-and-click interface, enabling users to scrape just about any website. However, there are websites with HTML or JavaScript that prevent scraping data. The good news is that Hexomatic, in addition to its point-and-click interface, can provide you with more advanced features to tackle more complex projects. In particular, I will show you today how to use Google Chrome's developer tools to isolate elements you want to capture, copy-paste their selectors, and use this natively inside Hexomatic. Here we go. To begin, Create your hexomatic.com account, if you don't have one yet. And let's create a new blank scraping recipe from the dashboard. Capture the URL of the page you want to scrape. In this case, I will use as an example our academy page. Let's capture the page URL and simply paste it to hexomatic. Normally, when you scrape websites with hexomatic, you can use the automatic selectors. So we can simply click the title here, select all, and we can scrape all the article titles and select text as the element type. This is the automatic way Hexomatic detects and scrapes elements from the page. However, sometimes HTML and JS used on pages prevents this from happening. For such cases, you can use CSS selectors instead. Let's see how to do that. Simply open the page you want to scrape using, for example, Google Chrome. Right-click on the page and select Inspect. Next, choose the element you want to scrape, in this case it is the title, then right-click again, choosing Copy Selector. Let's get back to our scraping recipe, click Add Actions to be able to insert the captured CSS selector. Paste the selector in the selector field, choose text as the type and save the element. This shows us our sample value. Now you will notice that in this case it only finds one element. We can easily fix this by clicking on edit and removing this part. So now we have all the elements detected on the page. The great thing about our scraping recipe builder is that it allows editing the selectors. You can even edit the selector of the automatically selected elements. Again, click edit, go to refine selector and make your tweaks. I hope this was useful and it will open up a bunch of scraping possibilities. So whenever the fields cannot be captured automatically, just go to the code and do it with CSS selectors. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas for tutorials. Have a great day ahead. See you next time.